And welcome back guys, so I'm over here playing Rust, and on Wednesday there's going to be the thing called the Purge slash Wipe for this server. So, I figured I'd show what I end up doing this wipe, and they're going to hopefully go back to a two week wipe instead of a one week wipe, so that's nice to hear. I actually like the server better when it was a one week wipe, but anyways, I'm here to show what village I joined this wipe. And it actually turned out pretty amazing. So right now we're in the farm, it's an 8x8 farm. And yes, it produces teas really quick. So I'm literally crushing any competition that I'm having with other tea farms right now. As you can tell, how many berries or plants am I getting out? It's probably about 30,000 per harvest. So this will take an hour and 20 minutes to grow. Yikes, right? Looks at me, holy shit. Yep, holy shit indeed. Oops, wrong spot. Anyways, we come down here. Normal setup. It's all on auto sorters. And I got to a point where I did overflow. Alrighty. So, I've been designing a new horse farm. Where it's actually making me a ton of scrap. Now, this is going to be a little... Um, questionable of how much scrap I was able to make. So, if we look at the shops, I've made 38,357 scrap over the last day and a half just having this horse farm operational. I originally had like four, it's either, it's I think it's 4,000 or 8,000 scrap. And then once I got my horse farm operational, I started selling the horse crap which was turned to fertilizer and selling it at Bandit slash these admin shops that have the same ratio as the Bandit camp. Uh, started selling it for scrap. So I am recording during the day. You are going to hear funky noises. Just ignore it. But there's only so much I can do. But you, know, you can tell I have 197 pipes because I can just make the pipes out of the scrap at this point. Okay, it's a little ridiculous. We've got 150 rockets in there, 200, or 300, yeah, 32 C4, and another 38 rockets in there. Holy shit indeed, right? Anyways, we're living on the island, and we've got the horse poop base over here. We'll be checking out that, out that out as well. So, let's start down here. That base used to be a castle. His outer walls decayed, unfortunately. There's an admin's house right there. There's another admin's house there. Not sure what this little base over here is. I think it's more like a little hangout place where you can dance and stuff. Uh, you got this base here. And as you can tell, there's a bridge over there. I don't know if that's an actual base over there, though. It looks like it's a national base over there because it's not a raid base. So there's is bases that pop up on the server, and there's bases you can raid. So we got an elevator here. It looks like someone took the elevator down and didn't bring it back up. Uh, we got the bridge there. It's controlled by lights. Just ignore any noise that you hear outside. So you can see lights on, lights off at night, it's on auto switches, it also is on auto refilling. Come on over here. Yeah, I'm doing this while everyone's offline because it gets quite hectic around here. <laughs> Which I kind of like. It's nice being around other players because, you know, living in a base by yourself and there's little interaction with people, it gets quite boring. It's nice because you don't have to worry about people getting annoying or saying something that could get you in trouble on YouTube. But sometimes risking it and living upon a village is a nice change where you never know what's going to happen. Anyways, this guy always that lives in this base always gets the crappiest of spots to build. Cause he always shows up late to where we build the village. And he ends up turning some a crappy spot into a very unique base. So I wanted to showcase this while we're here. Uh, I tried taking Heli a couple days ago. I tried. I failed, of course. But I tried. 
I, I got almost all the way down health-wise, and it was a little sliver of health left to hit the tower of rockets, and I didn't have an Astro Kit up there at the time. But yeah, he, he's got this little boat base there, he's got a pool here, uh, you got the heli base over there. Uh, but anyways, I want to show you how much, and this is just today, me gathering... This is just me gathering this from the horse farm today. I want to show how much crap I'm making just out of fertilizer from this horse farm before we go over there and check it out. So, three scrap for two of this, and it's the same at Bandit Camp as far as I know of. So if we see our Bandit Camp, is it this one? No. It's gotta be that one. And three for two, alright. The only difference with this shop is there is no, you know, time limit, so if 33, if you submit fertilizer over there, and it says there's 33 scrap in, t in the process, it just means it'll be slower, but in the end, yeah, you kind of get the idea. You'll end up with this much. That's a lot of scrap, 8,000 scrap, almost 9,000 scrap? Holy shit! And I've only been on the server for 30 minutes? Holy shit. Y you kind of get the idea. And that's only with 50% 50, 50 of the server, or the horse farm working at the moment. Because on this server, because it restarts, the only way to get the horse to crap, as much as that sounds terrible to say, you gotta go over there and damage them a little bit, just so that it wakes up the AI for the horse, to go and get them to crap again and eat to get things moving. I know it sounds terrible. Sounds off, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, you kind of get the idea for the horse farm. If you're on a server where the server restarts and the AI for the horses glitch out, the only way to fix that is to go over and whack the horse with a uh, hatchet. Just one or two strikes will be sufficient enough. This is for in-game of Rust, not real life. Just gotta clarify that before someone goes, Oh, how dare you! Now we're talking about Rust horses. We're not talking about real life horses. So I'll actually demonstrate this here in a second. Let me just put my scrap in my vending machine and show that this is real. Now, all this will be moved the day before purge. If anyone thought they're gonna get this sneaky idea, ooh, I'm just gonna come over here and raise it. You know. So that's a lot of freaking scrap. <laughs> and this is just me experimenting with a horse form at the moment. So you kind of get the idea. If I got heads running the entire life. It makes me wonder how much scrap I would actually have. Hmm. I'm gonna do this, take my hazmat suit off, and we're gonna ride down the elevator. I'm gonna get me a picture of the island from afar here, and then I'm gonna kill the character over. We're gonna spawn over at the horse farm. Isn't this place cool? It's cool. Someone's downstairs walking around with a castle on their leg, so they're, you know, they're not intentionally trying to be noisy. It's just, you know, when you've got a thing in your leg and you've broken your ankle or your foot, it's kind of hard to walk around, you know? That's a hell of a sight. I have to have a picture of this for my thumbnail. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm playing with a group. This is these are the people that are living in this island town. Isn't that a sight? Holy shit! I wish this thingy for kill sciences wasn't up, but eh, it'll work. That looks like a good thumbnail right there. Okay, chat, you can go away. Stop popping up that there's a raid base at this location. <laughs> so annoying. Right. 
I've got my thumbnail. Uh, I was going to make this multi TC, make it two total cabinets to maintain the bridge, but I'm like, eh, nah. Uh, let's see what doors can they got. Does it say I have nothing? Nope. I made this with my last piece of wood. <laughs> it's a metal door too, you can tell. Because there's no lines for the door. I'm gonna guess this might be a raid base where they're getting ready before wipe happens. I'm gonna guess that's what's going on. So what I like to do is I like to take my tugboat and I like to put it in fishing village. Why do I do that on wipe day or purge day? Because when someone breaks the boxes inside of your tugboat, they can't get access them either. So the lovely thing about tugboats is what I found out last wipe is Usually I'll hide my, you know, good loot on a tugboat. And what I would do is I would make it so that that loot is inside of a fishing village, which is a safe zone. Which I forgot that you can destroy tugboats from outside the tug outside the safe zone with rockets. You can also destroy it with submarines. But it makes it so the raider can't get any of your loot because they can't physically loot it because the loot bags are in a safe zone on this server where if you're on a server where they protect your loot from other players trying to loot it in a safe zone yeah this is why I put my good stuff in my tugboat at fishing villages and stuff like that and because I've said out loud where I put it now I have to find a new spot to put it now don't I <laughs> but the point is I didn't like the fact that a raider blew up my tugboat and I couldn't access even my own loot bags that are on the ground <laughs> he, they couldn't access them either but you, you see the point that I'm making here so now we just hit the kill command we'll go ahead and come over here and we'll go visit the boot farm which I will be probably making, I'll probably be living in the, like a new version of the base where I have an idea. It's probably a terrible, disgusting idea, but uh, let's hear it, right? So, as we can tell, they're all, the poop is sliding down the ramp here. It's quite delightful for those, you know, normal, of course, pooping farms. <laughs> um, it just sits on the ground. It doesn't get collected. So, when you have ramps like this, it helps it slide on down the, you know, slide here, and it gets collected down the bottom here. So, I'm like, okay, if we had this down here, what would happen if I did the malaria? Well, that's a lot of ass up there. You kind of see what's going on here. So, as you can tell, I am picking up a huge amount of shit. Now, the only way this is functional enough to actually produce is... You have to have a farm supporting it, so there is no way you're going to buy enough pickles to have them eat the pickles to poop more. You are going to need a pumpkin farm, the ability to refill all these trucks. Stop chitting. <laughs> I understand I need the poop to make fertilizer to sell it, but I'm trying to keep this clean for the video. Anyways. So we got an elevator system here. I think next wipe I'll have my farm base next to here. And in between levels like this right here, this would work good for having, you know, an auto sorting system. Instead of having the wall here, we'll have like the boxes in the wall, as you can see here. The only reason I don't have this Esther wall here is because I'm too close to the horse farm, unfortunately. So why do I have this Esther thing on the outside of it? Well, it makes it easier to feed the horses. So as you can see, you can you know, interact with the trough through the fence here. So that's a nice thing to have there. So if I can do that, then I could have another layer of this up above. Does that make sense? You, you kind of see where I'm going with, with this. And I will probably show how this is made next wipe of me playing the server. Uh, next wipe I plan to build next to Horse Ranch. So I, I 
I plan to build next to ranch or large barn. And if the town decides to build next to like a dirt road for the road, I think that would be kind of cool living next to a ranch because you got the facility, which is the horse farm, producing a ton of scrap, which then can be shared with teammates. You've got the food farm that's producing food plus teas. It's perfect. Getting it up and running. Uh, what I like to do is I like to get it going on day two, the farm base. What I'll do this wipe, or next wipe coming up, I'll get the horse farm up first. Because that's going to count as my main base. Yes, I'm going to literally have poop raining down on me. Not exactly on me, but I'll be underneath the ramps. And I'll show you how, what I mean about that in a second. But I wanted to clarify what I meant by damaging the horses here. So let me just go over to the RP store, and as you can see, I've got 104 RP. Buy one of these. So let's say you're on a server, and the server likes to restart. And we see this horse here, and we see it's at 100 health. So there are two ways to deal with this problem. You can either have ride the horse around, and it'll make it tired and have less health, or you could just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or you could shoot it three times with an AK and get it down to this health. You want to get it down to that health because if you do it any shorter than what is displayed here, as you can see here, you want it right where it says use, hold down to use, you want its health bar down to there. If it's above there, there's a high chance that the AI is just going to sit there like doy and not produce any poop. We want it to eat, so it just works its way down the throat, down the stomach, through its intestinal lining, and out of its ass. I know it's a terrible way to say it, but you know, this goes straight to the point. We're talking about in-game horses. This is how you fix the problem of the horse not taking the crap when you are doing a horse farm. <laughs> Um, for those that don't understand how to do a horse farm, this is how you do a horse farm on a server where it restarts and you need to make sure that horse health drops down to a certain point, it replenishes it by eating, and eventually it starts shitting again. <laughs> In a nutshell. So I probably will be making this base again. Now I want to show what I mean by be living in it. You're like, that's nasty! You're talking about living in a horseshit base. <laughs> so, as you can see on the side here, this is where the walkway would be above us. And you can see the little pieces popping from the ceiling. I would put boxes in here, link it up to an auto-sorting system, probably have my workbenches facing in this way, and you kind of get the idea. The only difference I would do with the next base is I would make these walls where you could see out of them, instead of having them as, you know, concrete wall. Probably do... I'd probably do window window here and I'd probably do a concrete wall here just for electrical. But you kind of get the idea of what I'm thinking for next wipe. Think about trying something different. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to is right now I am waiting and hour and 15 minutes for the pumpkins to grow so I can refill their trough so that they have something to eat therefore they make me football therefore they're making me fertilizer which I can then sell this fertilizer to make scrap, scrap wood but because I don't feel like waiting for this to get going I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to deposit some of this. And when people come by here, they go like, what is this place? They're like, are you sure you want to know? Oh yeah, yeah, I've never seen anything like this. What's up with all the horses? Ah, uh, this is a poop pool farm. What do you mean the poop pool farm? Well, the horse is crap. It rolls down the vertical... Um, ramp, I guess you could say, 
get collected at the bottom, and then you put all of it in the composter, you let it sit there, turn in the fertilizer, then you sell the fertilizer, which makes you a ton of scrap, which will make you 9,000 scrap per 30 minutes, if you've got your horse farm set up the way I have mine. If you only have the bottom half set up, you'll probably make about 1,000, maybe 2,000 if you're lucky, but you kind of get the idea. I understand the concept of a horse farm is gross and disgusting that you're picking up horse poop and putting it in a compost poster, but hey, it's making me a filthy rich in scrap. And I just explained how I'm getting filthy rich in scrap right now. Can you imagine first day of the life having this halfway working, just having horses crapping into a chute, you picking up the poop, putting it in a composter, which all you need is a tarp and wood? You know, think about it from this perspective, and you're making a thousand scrap per 30 minutes. Not bad. That's your, you know, workbench 2 or workbench 3 within 30 minutes after you get this set up. Depending if you have the Esther scrap for, you know, Esther 1500 scrap for the workbench 3, you know, that's not bad. So if you're on a normal official server, and it's got the normal rates, then it will be a little slower, but you're still making a shit ton of scrap. So, I just want, I will do a video on how to make this farm, but I just wanted to give you an eye opener of living on an island with the villagers again. I tried doing a hotel, that wooden structure in the back there that I didn't really say much about, it was supposed to be the hotel. And I got preoccupied with playing with an experimental farm here, basically, is what happened. <laughs> so, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hopefully this video was entertaining of me talking about how I'm now living on an island with uh, other players. It's all nice. Um, since I've learned how to fly a mini chopper, I have now tried my ambitions of trying to take down the attack heli that's inside of Rust. I failed the first time, I probably won't fail the second time, because I'll have a secondary kit in there. So, hey, you've got to fail a couple times, figure out, okay, that didn't work, okay, do it better next time. So, that's what's going on with me playing Rust at the moment. Uh, I'm getting ready for Wednesday. Wednesday is Purge at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's when they lift the raid protection on bases. So... Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm prepping for. I will be trying to get some more follow-up content done tonight. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys again soon.